Okay, this is my book hardware and I've decided to do, especially for Christmas, a very special edition. So at the front, it has an extremely detailed painting. I'll just do a couple bit for bit, bits on it. And that's a full painting, absolutely in the book. And it's on the paper of the book, specially coated up. So it's completely part of the book. And on the back, on the back page, June is becoming very relevant in my life again. I worked on June with Alejandro 40 years ago. And for a variety of reasons, I got the script out recently and was looking through it. And it was exactly this time 40 years ago in November that I was sitting working in this funny French studio. And I remember Alejandro and myself having a big conversation about the spice containers. And he didn't really understand machinery. And I, of course, in those days, 40 years ago, was still very much stuck with the dam busters and things like that. And so it was this incredible conflict between someone who, as he described himself, was Mexican, Chilean, Yugoslavian and doing very emotive things. And here are me, very much a hardware man, even in those days. Anyway, we did get the spice container done, just as it is in the book. But this first version, I had it as a sort of battered cargo ship. And of course, the pirates are shooting them up. So here is all the spice spilling out. And it's obviously in a tailspin. And there are people on the ground. And I think this is me with my Second World War outlook. Because the farmers used to sit in the fields, the haymakers, watching the dogfights going on above them. So they must be standing on the ground watching the pirate ships shoot up the spice ship. And here it is spiralling with all the spice coming out. So I'm quite proud of that. But of course, this one didn't make the cut. So I'm quite enjoying redoing it just so that there's a record of one of the things. And this, of course, is Alejandro was very big on symbolic sites and things. So that's what the idea of all the triangles is. So that's the back page. And then if we go back to the front... I'll just add a little bit of colour to finish that off. And here is this. So here is the paint. And we just want to pop in a bit of colour on that foreground ship. Like this. And then that will finish the painting. So here is. Just makes it that much more interesting. A little bit of red. There, that makes it more interesting. There. There's that. There. Oh, I'll do a bit at the bottom now. It's always a question of knowing when to stop. I think that's enough. There we go, quite proud of that. So there is that one. And I did do a second book. Here is the second one, Dear Old Hardware. And um, again, I proofed up the pages. They're sized, they're, um, they are literally part of the book. And I treat them before I actually paint on them. So they're very tough. And here is that painting. But we'll go to the back first because um, I can't paint on it um, and then turn the page because it will stick. And here is the other Dune one. And again, I was obsessed with the spice. Now this time, this is the spice container and it's very much like we've finished up with. This is a final design. So here are three of them and the pirates came in. Here they are, singing. So this was an early design for the pirate ships. I, I refined it after that to the nice spiky one. So these are the these are the two pirate ships hammering in. And these are the guild fighters coming out to meet them. And this one, this is me with my Second World War stuff. That's been zapped, so there's bits coming off of it. And uh, there are the clouds. The dune 
Guild Tug has done a runner. That's disappeared. So here we are. Here's the spice containers like this. And what it did was it cut loose the containers and it ran off. So that is the spice containers on the back. And this is the spaceship on the front. And we'll just add a tiny bit more colour to this one. Because I do like red. Going through a red stage at the moment. So let's pop the red on there. Here's the red on here. Here is the ready mixed red. Here is the brush. It does help if you've got a good brush. And these are lovely. These brand new brushes. I got them yesterday. And here we are. It's just a little bit of red. Just seems to bring out the picture. Some of these red panels. Here they are. I don't know what they are, but they're just red panels and they look nice, in my opinion. So there they are. And this will be the last book painting before Christmas. There. So as they say in my favourite store, when it's gone, it's gone. There. There. All done and dusted.